What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to pick up health pods that will basically give you more health. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so first of all, let's create the uh, health collectible. So let's just right click and create a new blueprint class and this will be an actor. Let's call this BP underscore uh, health uh, collector. <laughs> Something like that. Now just go ahead and open this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and add a static mesh. In this case, you can put whatever you want. You can put a custom model. In my case, I don't really have anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just randomly put an icon here. Maybe this editor help. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to be using this. Uh, so let me change a bit the scale, let's put it to maybe 0.5. There we go, so it's a bit smaller. Let's go down and change this to have no collision. And what we're going to do instead is let the scene root and add a collision. In this case, it will be a sphere collision, and it's going to be the trigger. So basically, when the player will collide with this trigger, well, it will basically go ahead and uh, pick up the thing. So I can go ahead and change the sphere radius so it's a bit bigger, and we'll have a better uh, feeling because we'll pick it up a bit uh, before than when we actually like, enter into the model, and it will just uh, give a better sensation. Now let's go ahead and make sure this trigger is set to overlap all dynamic. And now what we're going to do is go on to the uh, component begin overlap, which is when an actor uh, basically goes ahead and collides with it. And what that happens, what we're going to do is make sure that this actor it is the player. So what I like to do is just go ahead and ask if it has the tag player. So let's go also and quickly just add that tag into our uh, third person character. So let's go into the blueprint and I'm going to go into the uh, class defaults. Yeah, go into tag. And now in the actor tag, I go ahead and just add the player tag. So now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that when the player collides, we are going to go ahead. Can I connect this? There we go. And in here, cast to the third person character. OK. And in this case, I'm going to do B uh, calling an event that will increase my health. Right now, I have created a simple health system. So you can see my tutorial for that. Basically, you just have a health variable right now set at 70. And then I just have a widget, which will just have a single slider. And it will show up the health on the top left corner of the screen. So let's go ahead and just drag our health collector into the scene over here. Drag it there. There we go. And uh, what we're going to do is go into the third person character. And we're going to create a new custom event that we will basically call from our health collector to basically increase our health. So let's go ahead and just right click custom event and we just increase health, for example. And what we can do is go ahead and add an input. So this will be a uh, new health, for example, right? And we can change this to be a float. And then what we can do is just get our health and just uh, basically add it with the one incoming, which in this case will be this one. And now we will just set health once again. And also, let's go ahead and make sure that, you know, health is uh, basically less than equal than uh, the maximum, which is 100. So if health is bigger uh, than 100, you can go ahead and put this here and set it to be 100. All right, so now we can test this. I'm gonna go into a health collector and just pick up health. So it'll be, uh, it was increased health, right? And we can put, for example, something as 10. And now what I can do is put a bit more of this health collectors in the scene. So let's duplicate them and put it here, here, whatever, right? And I can just go pick it up. So you can see it will increase my health and it looks pretty cool. Now, of course, uh, we have we have to you know get rid of them once you got them. Uh, so let's go here and just do a, a destroy actor. So we just get rid of them. And now let's also just go ahead and play a little sound. So before we destroy it, I'm gonna say play sound at location and let's play for example this camera shutter. <laughs> you know I don't have a cool sound here, so I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this one. Get at third location. And now what we can do is also just make it spin by default because I think it will cool if it's just slowly spinning. It will give this a collectible effect. So what we can do is just go and add the uh, rotated movement and we can add an axis on Z. So now we can just put, for example, 100 on the Z axis and now slowly it will rotate. 
So now I can go ahead and pick it up, it will play a sound and disappear as you can see. And you could even go ahead and play some, you know, pick up particles or whatever you want to live it how you want. So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. The profiles will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out, join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. Now yes, with all I said, bye bye. Thank you.